Hi right guys, welcome along to another Monday Modding. And it's going to be a bit of a shorter one this one. It's about single player arc settings. Now, when you're setting up a dedicated server, you get these beauties. And you get to put in such things such as force allow cave flyers and show floating damage text. Now, force allow cave flyers means that you can fly around in caves. Awesome. The devs suck for disallowing that and complicating the process of putting it back. But it's easier on a dedicated server because you just enter this slot in the launch settings. However, you launch them. I'm not entirely sure on that because I've never set up a daddy server. The other guys have, they handle all this bits, so we just tell them what we want. Aha! However, if you ever set up a daddy server before, and there are videos out there to do that, you'll know what I'm on about. But maybe you don't know for single player. Uh, this one, since I can't remember which patch it got released in now. But it's 245 coming out tomorrow, I believe. And that allows it to work with ranged. They're doing something with the ranged weapons. Anyway, this means that when you hit something, it shows up how much you're hitting for. And when you get hit, it shows you how much you're being hit for. Which is pretty cool. I like it. But this is for single player. Now, <coughs> instructions are already here. Aha. For single player, right click on your Steam client in the game's name and the library. Choose properties, tab general, button set, large options. Enter the options. But some don't work this way, especially with those starting with a question mark. <laughs> so, that one would work on the launch options. That one wouldn't. <clears throat> Try to put them in the section server settings of the game user settings in it. Easy enough. Yada yada yada. File path, hard drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, arc, shooter game, saved, config, Windows no editor, game user settings. Ta da! And then you just got to scroll down, and you're looking for this part here. Voila. So if I load that, and I'll see you in game, I'll show you what it's like without these settings. Alright guys, we're back. Victim. As you can see, no floating damage heard. We don't know how much we're hitting him for. You have to use a training dummy to actually figure that out. And obviously, if you fly into the cave, get off. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, figure it out. There we are. I believe he's still leveling up. Oh, I'll do that. Right. And when testing, very quick way of getting out of arc. Open a menu. Alt F4. <laughs> I don't recommend doing it all the time, but it does have its uses. So right, in the server settings part, we need to go and place that one. Minus the question mark. So all you want is that. And you pop that. Just there. Now that is going to enable the floating text. However, for the other one over here, properties, in the general, set the launch options. Now we go and put in this. But you do use the little dash at the start. So back in here, launch options, da da da. Force allow okay, flares, okay. Aha, here's another little thing though now. I have. Uh, you can't see it there, it's on my start bar, but I have an icon to actually launch arc. That won't work if you want to use these launch options. You have to launch it through Steam. This play button here. Ta da! I don't get that when I use my little icon, it sort of bypasses Steam. Which is completely useless for using launch options. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in game. Alright guys, we're back. Test this out. So first of all, we need a victim. There's a victim. Um boom. Voila, we're in for 62. So that was the uh, value in the game user settings with the question mark. 
but it didn't have a question mark then. And the launch options allow you to fly in the cave. Look at that. Back to how it should be. And there's the route down into hell. There's nothing trying to kill me, so I think I broke something else. <laughs> oh, is this just another single? This might just be a single player bug still. Could be something to do with mods. I don't know. I give up with caves in single player. But you can get the flyers in here using these methods at least. Do it. I'm going to get this out of here. And I will catch you all next time. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that helps somebody fall out. Oh, nice bright. That's better. <laughs> catch you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to hang around. Catch you next time.